What's going on guys? I'm here with the H6 drone. I thought I'd take it on on a little flight. It is a very uh, rainy day. It was raining, but it stopped. So I figured I'd do a little flight. It didn't rain too much though, so it's not all wet, the grass. But this is the transmitter, so it's just getting to a, jo a jogging start. Um, see all the buttons? So if you need to know what the buttons are right here, it tells you. Although your, your gyro to recalibrate this is this button here. To unlock the drone is here to start the blades or the propellers. And if you press it again, it will have liftoff. Press it again, it will automatic land. And this is return home. If you press this in, this is the speed. And if you long press it, that's headless mode. And uh, I don't know what this one does, but we got our camera, our video, and our uh, 90 degree camera mover on the fly. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this little guy out and uh, set it up and we'll just take flight right now. All right, guys, so I got it all set up. It's all binded up already. It's starting to rain now, so that sucks. But uh, you can move this on the fly here. So you can move your camera down and up. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put this on. Let's get this thing up in the air, see what happens. All right, that's speed number three. So I just went right into three because it's, uh, you guys can see it's a little windy. The yaw's still a little slow though. But really good flight, guys. Just really, really good. So this is speed number three. It doesn't do any jump, I mean, uh, 360 rolls or nothing. It probably does, but in the app itself only. I don't know why they, they've been doing that. Some of these drones, they've been putting the 360 flip button in the app, which kind of sucks, you know? But like I told you guys before, you really don't need to uh, be doing a bunch of flips. But it feels really good. It flies great. Now, see, it doesn't flip. That's the trim. The other uh, thumbstick, if you press that one, that's how you trim it. So it trims in that kind of difficult way. Don't ever trim your drone unless you absolutely have to. Because uh, if you over trim it and you're a rookie, you probably won't be able to untrim, get it back to normal again. And if you take the batteries out of the transmitter, it will not reset so you you have to do it yourself so so far pretty good pretty good kind of drifting a little bit so i'm going to go ahead and land it oh all right i need to calibrate you little guy so let's go ahead and put this right here Sorry about that, guys. I know I'm out of view. Let's uh, go ahead and calibrate. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, sorry about that, guys. But one of my propellers wasn't locked into place properly. No, come on. Okay. Nope. One of them's still off right here. Okay. So if it's wobbling like that, that's probably why. Yeah, it's the breeze is really getting to it. Try to fly it low enough. I think I'm getting rained on now. It's pretty bad out here. It looks like the rain. It's pretty bad. And I don't suggest you guys fly it in the rain. 
but uh I just wanted to come out and fly anyways I think I'm gonna have to cut this video short because it is really coming down now but I will be doing another flight video on both of the drones that I purchased uh, I have a RC car coming I have a handheld but I really don't want to show that one it's another amber neck handheld man this thing flies great really good yeah that breeze is picking up too really good flight I like it a lot yeah I think I'm gonna have to cut this one short because uh it's really coming down guys it's really raining a lot but it has really good flight really good it's uh it's you can fly it in the rain i mean you can fly it in some wind so you don't have to worry about it just not working in the wind and it's got little rubber feet on it but one of them wants to always come off on mine so i'm gonna try to glue it on but it's got some rubber feet here Let's see if I can get it to land here. I'm getting water all over it. All right, let's see here. I don't want to lose the little feet. There we go. All right. So we do have some little rubber feet, which is really good because it keeps it in place. You can see it's already getting all wet, and I'm getting wet too. Uh, you can see my transmitter's pretty wet. But a little water wouldn't hurt anything. I've had my drones go completely submerged in the, the lake and then still just dry them out. Take them apart, dry them out, and they still work. But uh, I don't suggest you guys do that. So that's the end of this one, guys. Sorry about it being so short. But uh, I'll do, I'm going to do one more video, and I'm going to go to another location. And uh, I'll be able to uh, do some of the drones. Uh, the follow me, you know, the, the one where you kind of draw it and it, the drone flies in that pattern. forgot what that's called, but that one and the voice control, I wanted to try that too. So uh, stay tuned for those guys and uh, some more RC stuff coming up soon. So sorry about the video being short, guys. Sorry, but uh, it is raining a little. Kind of feels like it stopped. I think I'll probably fly it a little more, but uh, I will. But I'm gonna cut this video short, guys. I'm gonna just fly it all the way to the house, so I'll be back, guys. Like I said, more content coming up soon, and uh, yeah, oh yeah. And I wanted to say, uh, if you guys, I'm gonna be doing the K the K101 Max drone, I'm gonna give that one away, so I'll be uploading that video soon this week, and uh, yeah. So I'm going to upload that video and you can enter to win. So that one should be either today or tomorrow. So uh, I'm going to do that one. And uh, if you're looking for any channels to watch, you know, I recommend uh, Ready to Run RC. I think I'll leave a link. And there's uh, the RC uh, Mod Squad and uh, RC Reviews. I'll leave links, guys, so you guys could check them out just in case you want to see some other content from another uh, creator. And I do recommend them. And uh, Ready to Run RC is always giving stuff away. Always. So uh, you might want to subscribe to his channel. And he's a very good host too. He will help you out. Any issues come up with, with your RCs. He's, he, uh, he's a pretty good host. And he will answer. So uh, I'll leave the links for that. And for this drone as well guys. So uh, stay tuned for more content. Thanks a lot for watching.